You know, I That'll thought about fun. calling in today. You know, I thought about. I, I would have known what you did. So though. <laughs> I really want to hit the slopes. And we were talking earlier. You said that you got really cold yesterday, even oh, though gosh. you were layered up, and you're still cold yeah. from yesterday. It was pretty cold. bearable on the ground, but I went up to the uh, Mount Rainier gondola top, yes. and it was stunning. And it takes your breath away, and then your breath gets taken away a second time because of the cold air. So uh, I feel like I'm still uh, getting my core temperature back after that. <laughs> yeah, and you know the good news is with these cold temperatures, the ski resorts have been able to make some of that snow and we, not only do we have the opening at Crystal Mountain for pass holders today it is open to the public beginning Monday Mount Baker is also open and folks guess what Mission Ridge opens up today and then eventually we will see Stevens Pass open up in early December to be determined at Snoqualmie Pass but it's going to be a really nice day to hit the slopes a bluebird day mostly sunny skies temperatures in the 30s for the mountains we're going to see the Puget Sound lowlands have temperatures in the upper 40s, lower 50s, pretty seasonal, lower 50s out along the coast as well. Now, east of the Cascades, for my friends in central Washington, a lot colder temperatures actually going to struggle to even hit freezing this afternoon, and it is a chilly start to our Saturday morning. 34 degrees in Seattle. You want to make sure that you have that light jacket. Notice that north and northeasterly wind at 8 miles per hour. That's making it feel like it's in the 20s right now in Seattle, and those temperatures area wide are generally in the 20s, but we just saw Olympia dipped down to 18 degrees within the past few minutes. 20 in Shelton. Good morning, Everett. Just dipped below freezing, 31 degrees. Winthrop, one below zero. No thank you. Those winds, light 5 to 10 miles per hour, still making it feel a little bit colder out there. We're sitting at 34 in Seattle, but it feels like 27 degrees due to that wind just adding that chill to the air. Now, we will see the sunny skies with this area of high pressure overhead. No rain chances today. No rain chances for our Sunday, but notice that high starts to move off to the southeast on Sunday. It's going to weaken as well. That opens the door for our system to move in Sunday night into our Monday morning. Now, Sunday is going to be day 13 of no rain at SeaTac. That's going to be a new record tying 20 or 2000. Uh, so we're going to be 13 days in a row during the wettest month to not see any rain. That changes, though, on our Monday with a weak system moving in. We'll see some spotty rain showers for our Monday morning stronger system moves in on Tuesday looking like some widespread rainfall but the passes should be okay we're actually going to see that snow level shoot up to about 5500 feet so if you are crossing over the mountains for the holidays looking like we're going to be okay Tuesday it's going to be wet though so just keep that in mind you'll want to give yourself a little extra time system zips on out of the area though Tuesday night and it looks like we're going to be mainly dry for our Wednesday and for our Thanksgiving, just going to see mostly cloudy skies. Closer look at this system. This is going to be tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Spotty showers near the coast. They work toward Puget Sound early Monday morning. This is around 4 a.m. SeaTac getting in on the rain, ending that 13 day dry streak. Notice how the coverage just isn't impressive, though. So very spotty showers Monday morning. We clear out, though, by the time you're heading to work or school. So a very unimpressive system tomorrow. Temperature similar to what we saw today, upper 40s, lower 50s. Notice that uptick in the cloud cover, though. So we start to see the cloud cover increase throughout the day tomorrow, but we stay dry chilly today. We really are going to be chilly over the next few days. Seasonal though. We see the rain showers increase Tuesday. It's going to be breezy as well. Notice for our Thanksgiving Thursday looking like we're going to be mainly dry. Isolated shower possible. Yes, most folks stay dry. Temperatures start out in the 40s for your Thanksgiving day and we're going to climb all the way up to 55 degrees, which is well above average.